Two of the most popular muscle cars were introduced for the 1967 model year, and although they were technically cousins, the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird both have very loyal and different followings. Built on GM's new F-body platform, the Camaro and Firebird share some basic DNA, including the unibody design, which utilizes a body tub with a bolt-on front subframe to locate the front suspension and engine cradle. They share common sheet metal underneath the skin, including the floors, firewall, trunk floor, rocker panels, and some of the bracing. The leaf spring rear suspension design is also shared, as is the glass. But that is about where the sharing ends. The Camaro hit the streets fully armed to go after the wildly successful Ford Mustang, and that was not by coincidence. The Mustang was mopping up youth market sales like crazy and had a three-year head start on any comparable GM product, so Chevrolet had to bring all they could to the fight, and that they did with the introduction of the 1967 Camaro Z28 and Camaro SS models. The Z was a Trans Am road race inspired hot rod powered by a high revving 302 cubic inch V8 making an advertised 290 horsepower, rolling on 15 inch wheels and performance suspension. It's one of the pinnacle Camaros ever and one of the few new launch cars that got everything right. Pontiac was marketed as an upscale performance brand, and when they rolled out the new for 67 Pontiac Firebird, they were targeting a slightly more sophisticated buyer. The Firebird was going after the Mercury Cougar and the Plymouth Barracuda crowd with burlwood trim and loads of comfort and convenience options. But the Bird didn't skimp on the performance goodies, as evidenced by this 1968 Ram Air 2 Firebird. This is a pretty bare-bones car with no power windows or air conditioning and a no-nonsense green paint scheme with black steel wheels and hubcaps. But under the hood lives the Pontiac 400 HO Ram Air 2 V8 capable of 340 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Of course, Camaros were also offered with big-inch V8s like this flashy 1967 L78 SS396 car, an 11 to 1 compression, aluminum intake, four barrel high lift cam big block Chevy that kicked 375 horsepower and 415 pound feet of sand in the faces of those who dared to approach on the street. Although they share the same basic bones, the Camaro and Firebird styling is distinctive enough to differentiate the cars. Firebirds always had a pointier, more beak-like nose, while Camaros have a more traditional grille. For 1969, Firebird shed its conservative feathers and turned up the wow with the 1969 Trans Am, its own version of a street-going road racer inspired by the racing series of the same name. And although you could get this striped and spoilered new ride with a raucous Ram Air 4 V8 under the hood and performance-tuned suspension, Pontiac didn't lose sight of their customers' desires for a comfy ride inside. The new Trans Am looked like nothing else on the road and further distanced itself from its Chevrolet cousin. The 69 Camaro also got a visual tune-up with a wider body and speedy lines trailing the wheel openings, and the SS and Z28s continued to perform. Specialty dealers like Yanko Chevrolet worked the system to offer the 427 V8 in the Camaro, an option that was technically not even available on the car. However, Chevrolet did produce some Copo 427 cars and exactly 13.8 handfuls of ZL1 all-aluminum 427 cars for drag racing purposes, and those legends live on today. It would have been cool to see similar Firebirds or Trans Ams built with competition parts right from the factory, but unfortunately, that didn't really happen. So which do you prefer? The racier first generation Camaro or the refined and stylish Firebird? You can share your thoughts with us in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more fun muscle car goodness from the Brothers Collection next time on Muscle Car of the Week.